I think that what the NDP has to be aware of is over time, uh, people are going to start to look at outcomes mm -hmm. and not just narratives. And when you have a government that says, we really care about climate change, but continues to give billions in subsidies to the oil and gas industry, particularly LNG Canada, which is based on massively increasing fracking in Northeast BC and methane em emissions, that's not climate leadership in mm -hmm. 2022. Uh, People are going to look at the drug poisoning crisis. And as we've seen, the number of people dying every day, every week, every month continues to go up. Mm -hmm. And unless we start to see some some real turnaround on that, people are going to say, well, maybe these guys aren't be able to deliver on their promises. Affordability is another one. This is right. a government that ran on affordability. And as we know right now with inflation rates, cost of housing, affordability is something that a lot of people are really concerned about. So yeah. they're coasting a lot on what was accomplished in the minority. And mm -hmm. a lot of that we made big contributions to getting big money out of uh, politics, uh, environmental reform. Clean BC was very much a BC Green driven policy agenda. Uh, the NDP is going to have to show that they have some of their own ideas.